Pluto, once considered the ninth and most distant planet from the Sun, now the largest known dwarf planet in the solar system. Pluto is a dwarf planet that lies in the Kuiper Belt, an area full of icy bodies and other dwarf planets out past Neptune. Pluto is very small, only about half the width of the United States and its biggest moon Charon is about half the size of Pluto. Pluto is a complex and mysterious world with mountains, valleys, plains, craters, and maybe glaciers. Pluto was long considered our solar system's ninth planet. But after the discovery of similar intriguing worlds deeper in the distant Cooper Belt, icy Pluto was reclassified as a dwarf planet in 2006. American astronomer Percival Lowell first caught hints of Pluto's existence in 1905 from odd deviations he observed in the orbits of Neptune and Uranus, suggesting that another world's gravity was tugging at these two planets from beyond. Lowell predicted the mystery planet's location in 1915, but died without finding it. Pluto was finally discovered in 1930 by Clyde Tombaugh at the Lowell Observatory, based on predictions by Lowell and other astronomers. Pluto got its name from 11-year-old Venetia Burney of Oxford, who suggested to her grandfather that the new world get its name from the Roman god of the underworld. The name also honors Percival Lowell, whose initials are the first two letters of Pluto. Since Pluto was so far from Earth, little was known about the dwarf planet's size or surface conditions until 2015, when NASA's New Horizons space probe made a close flyby of Pluto. New Horizons showed that Pluto has a diameter of 2,376 kilometers, less than one-fifth the diameter of Earth, and only about two-thirds as wide as Earth's moon. Pluto is located billions of miles from our planet Earth. It took New Horizons one of the fastest spacecraft yet built by Earthlings, nine years to get there. Once it did arrive, the information gathered by New Horizons required 4.5 hours to travel back to Earth. From an average distance of 3.7 billion miles or 5.9 billion kilometers, Pluto is 39.5 astronomical units away from the Sun. It takes 247.9 Earth years for Pluto to make one orbit around the Sun, at an average speed of 10,623 miles per hour. Pluto rotates much more slowly than Earth so a day on Pluto is much longer than a day on Earth. A day on Pluto is 6.4 Earth days or 153.3 hours long. It takes sunlight 5.5 hours to travel from the Sun to Pluto. Since Pluto is so far away from the Sun, the Sun would look much dimmer and smaller than it does from here on Earth. From Pluto, the Sun would look like a very bright star and would light up Pluto during the day about as much as the full moon lights up Earth at night. Pluto is very cold. The temperature on Pluto ranges from minus 375 to minus 400 degrees Fahrenheit. For comparison, the coldest place on Earth, which can reach minus 128 Fahrenheit, would seem quite warm compared to Pluto. One of the coolest physical features of Pluto is a heart-shaped glacier bigger than Texas. Discovered by New Horizons. A distinct feature on Pluto's surface is a large heart-shaped region known as Tombaugh Regio. The heart, estimated to be 1,000 miles across at its widest point rests just above the equator. Pluto atmosphere is thin and composed mostly of nitrogen, methane and carbon monoxide. When Pluto is closer to the Sun, its surface ices thaw and temporarily form a thin atmosphere, consisting mostly of nitrogen, with some methane. Pluto's low gravity, which is a little more than 1 20th that of Earth's, causes this atmosphere to extend much higher in altitude than Earth's. When traveling farther away from the Sun, most of Pluto's atmosphere is thought to freeze and all but disappear. Its axis of rotation is tilted 57 degrees with respect to the plane of its orbit around the Sun, so it spins almost on its side. Pluto also exhibits a retrograde rotation spinning from east to west like Venus and Uranus. Pluto's mountains can be as tall as 6,500 to 9,800 feet and are big blocks of water ice, sometimes with a coating of frozen gases like methane. 
craters as large as 162 miles or 260 kilometers in diameter dot some of the landscape on Pluto. It isn't known whether Pluto has a magnetic field, but its small size and slow rotation suggest little or none. In terms of volume, Pluto only has 7.0 into 10 raised 9 cubic kilometers. That sounds like a huge number, but it's only 0.59% of the volume of the Earth. In other words, you could put almost 170 objects the size of Pluto inside the Earth. The mass of Pluto is 1.3 into 10 raised to 22 kilograms, which is only 0.2% the mass of the Earth, or 18% the mass of our Moon. Needless to say, Pluto doesn't have very much mass at all. The surface area of Pluto is 1.77 into 10 raised to 7 square kilometers. That's only 3.3% the surface area of Earth, and about the same surface area as Russia. The surface gravity on Pluto is about 1 by 12 the surface gravity on Earth. For example, if you weigh 100 pounds on Earth, you would weigh 8 pounds on Pluto. Pluto has five known moons. In order of distance from Pluto they are Charon, Styx, Nix, Kerberos, and Hydra. The largest of Pluto's moons is called Charon, it is about half the size of Pluto itself, making it the largest satellite relative to the planet it orbits in our solar system. It orbits Pluto at a distance of just 12,200 miles. It is tidally locked with Pluto such that the combination of Pluto plus Charon is sometimes thought of as a binary object, and are often referred to as a double planet system. The second and third moons are Nix and Hydra. These are very small moons and are thought to be between 30 and 100 miles across. Kerberos and Styx are the most recently discovered moons. Pluto's highly elliptical orbit can take it more than 49 times as far out from the Sun as Earth. Since the dwarf planet's orbit is so eccentric, or far from circular, Pluto's distance from the Sun can vary considerably, there are times when it crosses Neptune's orbit and becomes closer to the Sun than Neptune. For 20 years, from 1979 to 1999, Neptune was actually farther from the Sun than Pluto. For now, Pluto is back to being farther from the Sun. It will be more than 230 years before Neptune and Pluto trade places again. Pluto slips inside of Neptune's orbit once every 248 Earth years for a period of 20 years. So that's all we got about Pluto now, hope to see you in the next one. Thank you.